Hello, everyone. Let me know if you can hear me OK. Hello. Yes, I can. Hello, Wendy. Hello, Stacy, Carol. Hello. Okay, I want to get right into it, guys. Uh, today, what I'd like to do is continue our activity that we started uh, earlier this week. And I want us to work again in our wiki. And I'm going to go to the wiki right now to, again, review how we're going to continue what we did yesterday and take the answers that we developed in our questions and convert those into um, one coherent, cohesive, and unified paragraph. All right, so as a, as a review, yesterday you were in, included, you were asked to include uh, the following in your wiki. Okay, so at the top of your wiki, you should have either the embedded video or a link, a URL to the video. Then below the video, I would include a six to 12 word title. And then below the title, I would include the questions and the answers that relate directly to your specific topic, your topic on social inequality. So some of these questions here, you'll notice that they're general. I'm using the pronoun it in a lot of cases because they're obviously going to apply to different, different topics. So when you're creating your question, try to include a little bit more information that's relevant to your specific topic. If you're talking about, for example, uh, the pay gap between men and women in Mexico, you can include that language in your questions. All right, so you can expand these questions more if you, uh, in most cases, right, to include again your topic. If you have certain questions that aren't listed here that you want to include, that you want to answer, then of course include the question and the answer. But make sure that you have both the question and the answer just below the title of, of your topic. Okay, so make sure you include both the question and the answer. Make sure your answers are complete sentences, so they have a subject and a predicate, right? So you might even have uh, more than one clause in each sentence. You might have complex sentence, compound sentence, right? But try to include as much information as possible that answers the question. Today, we're going to expand this task, and we're going to take those answers to those questions and develop a uh, five to eight sentence, unified, coherent, and cohesive paragraph. So here the idea is the details or the details that you have included in your answers, those are going to be potential uh, details that you, you can include in your paragraph. So it's better to have more detailed information here answering your questions, right? From there, you can choose how you want to organize your paragraph. You can choose which, which uh, questions to answer first. You might even combine, depending on the topic, you can combine certain answers if it makes sense to combine those into a single sentence, for example. But the point here is that the paragraph that you develop in your wiki today, it needs to come from these questions and answers. Right, so don't include any detail in the paragraph that you don't mention as an answer above in these questions. I'll say that once again. Don't include any information in your paragraph. Don't include any details that do not come directly from answering one or a couple of the questions here. Now, you don't have to necessarily use all the information from your answers if you have a lot of detail. That may de that'll depend, but make sure that you have a lot of detail in your answers. OK, so you may need to go back and modify and expand a little bit more some of the answers first to the questions before you begin the paragraph below. All right, um, you may need to go back. Some someone asked me this morning, well, can I go back and change the video? Of course, you can change any aspect of this wiki as, as you need to. At the end of the day, your topic 
your video, your title, your questions, answers, and then later your paragraph should all align. They should all be about the same thing. So if you're still in the process of changing, modifying some of the, maybe the video, maybe changing some of the questions, that's fine. But today I'd like for us to work on the paragraph based on the information that we developed earlier that we developed yesterday in terms of answering our questions uh, specifically, right? And again, thinking about the question words, when you begin developing your paragraph, think about the organizational pattern, the, the way in which you want to organize your ideas, right? You might decide to choose certain question words to come before some others, right? You might talk about why first and then how, right? You might organize your paragraph based uh, chronologically, based on time, order of importance, right? Some other organizational pattern, but try to have a specific organizational pattern in mind. And although I didn't mention it here in the, the wiki, you might state before your paragraph or just above your paragraph, you might state the organizational pattern that you're planning on using. This will help me uh, when I'm looking at your paragraph uh, to see how you're organizing your ideas. But pay close attention to how you want to organize each idea that comes from the answers to your questions here. All right, and this is what I would like for us to work on uh, today. And I'm going to continue working, looking in your wikis. Some of you are sending me emails to take a look at your work. And of course, those who are here today in the live session, just unmute your mic if you want me to, to look at something from your wiki or if you have a question about uh, today's task. All right. Are there any questions at this point about what we're to do today? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and mute my mic. You guys just jump in if you have questions or if you want me to look at something in your in your wiki. Ben. Yes. How do you call, uh, for example, comparing contrast and cause and effect? How are they called? Mm, as far as or like choosing those to organize your ideas, or. Uh, I'm not sure I understand your question. Th yeah, how, how do you call it? Like uh, paragraph organization? Well, you could, you could, call, I typically call it just an, you could call it an organizational pattern, right? So you might talk, talk about the causes first, right? And then the effects or um, the problem and the solution. That's another organizational pattern. Is is that uh, is that what you're asking? Yes. Okay, and that could be another you know option for you for your paragraph, right? You might cause you might include the causes first and then the effects. Some of these uh, organizational patterns overlap also. So, for example, you might have one organizational pattern that relates to cause and effect, and then a second one that you organize based on importance. Maybe you talk about the least important to the most important at the very end. So you can combine certain organizational patterns depending on what they are and how they relate to each other. Okay, thank you. You're welcome.
Here's a list again for a review of different organizational patterns I've got here up on my screen. If you do a search, if you Google it, so you'll find a lot of different websites with different ideas. But these are the most common, I think. Problem, solution, cause and effect, spatial, geographical, chronological, logical or topical. Okay, there are many others, but these are a few some of some of the common ones. Ben, so we have to include the pattern that we are using in our paragraphs, right? Yeah, when you write your paragraph, try to choose one or two <clears throat> of the most important or relevant organizational patterns, right? And if you want to mention what the organizational pattern is just above the paragraph, that's fine. Um, but as we're reading it, as you're writing and as I'm reading, Right, it should be obvious what the organizational pattern is because that way it becomes easier to be understood. And that's the whole purpose of choosing the right organizational pattern is choosing the right one that makes what you're writing uh, easier for someone else to comprehend. Ben, can you check my wiki? Uh, yes, is this uh, Stacy? Yes. Okay. Okay, uh, Stacey, take a look at, um, I don't know if you're looking at your wiki right now, but take a look at the answers uh, to your questions and make sure in each case you're writing a complete sentence. Make sure that you have a subject and a predicate. And I think in most cases also, I would just try to add a little bit more information since all your paragraph is gonna come from these answers. We wanna make sure that we have enough detail in fact, preferably more detail than you need so that you can choose what information that you want to include in your paragraph. So the answer should be in the form of a complete uh, sentence when you're answering each of your questions. And again, try to expand a little bit more, maybe add another clause or some phrases, some adjectives to be a little bit more descriptive in uh, each of your questions. That way, again, I think you'll be better prepared when you write out your, your paragraph. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Teacher. Yes. Can you check my wiki? Yes, uh, is this Braulio? Yes. Okay. So, uh, Braulio, take a look uh, at your wiki and write out, I don't see the, the questions, okay? So, so just take a look at the, the instructions here carefully and write out, and if you want to use these questions that I've posted here, then you can use these and expand even more so as it relates to your topic. 
but I would like to see both the question and the answer. So you're going to have a list of questions and you're going to have a list of answers underneath each of your questions. And your answers should be in the form of a complete sentence. Okay. Okay. All right. If you guys are looking at my screen, yesterday I uploaded an example of I can see use your screen with use your screen with. I'm sorry. I can, can you see, see your no, I can't. Oh, you can't. Okay. All right. Thank you for letting me know. Let me try this again. Okay, let's try it now. Can you see my screen now? Yes. Oh, okay. Um, yesterday I uploaded a screenshot and essentially this is what we wanted to accomplish yesterday. Is this it? No, that's not it. Sorry. Uh, here it is, I think. Yeah. And the only thing I would do differently from this example, this is a good example. Probably I would put the video on top, but uh, just a small change. But notice that they have the video, they have a, a, a title. And then they have the questions and then answers. And in some cases, there are more than one sentence answers to some of the questions. So here, I feel like this person has a lot of good information to draw from when he or she begins writing out the paragraph. But it's very clear. It's stated. Uh, it's even numbered the questions. Now, I would also add that these questions could be expanded upon, right? She used or he used exactly the same question, but you could add more information instead of using the pronoun it. You could expand that, uh, expand the idea based on your specific topic. But the, this is the idea, right? That we've got good answers in the form of a complete sentence. We have several qu qu uh, sentences here that that we can draw on. So whenever this person begins writing the paragraph today, then they can draw on a lot of ideas that come from the answers as they're posted here. Okay, so this is just kind of an idea on uh, what to try to include before you begin the paragraph uh, for today. Can you check my wiki? Yes, this is Monse. Yes. Okay. Okay, Motsi, yeah, looks uh, looks good. The only thing I would add, <clears throat> if there is uh, some additional information about like where it exists, if you can narrow it down, I, even if it, you know, maybe it's a reality in a lot of parts, different parts of the world, I would try to focus just for the purposes of your paragraph on one particular area of the world that maybe you can speak to a little bit more specifically. And this might affect some of your other answers if you can zero in on one particular area. Maybe in one area, it's a little bit more of a problem than in other parts of the world. And that could be included more in your uh, in your topic. Um, and you know when it when you say, why does it exist? Try to um, 
it, I don't think this is a complete sentence because of ancient ideas that stated that yes. Yeah, so mm, try to answer in a complete sentences. Uh, some of them are complete sentences, but I think number three, I would take a, another look at that one. Um, yeah, so you've got the right idea. If you can try to dig a little bit deeper into the the topic and maybe get some information either from the video or from maybe a website that talks about it. Maybe it's an article or uh, maybe a, a journal article that goes into depth on on maybe one particular region. And uh, then you could expand a little bit more some of your your answers. But do make sure that you have uh, complete sentences for for each of your answers. And then once you've made those changes to the to the questions and answers, then take one more look at the the paragraph just to make sure that you're including those specific aspects um, in in your paragraph. And just make sure that I'm kind of looking quickly here, but just make sure that you're not mentioning anything in the paragraph that you don't have as an answer uh, above the paragraph. OK. OK, thank you. OK, you're welcome. Just a reminder, guys, try to include a lot of detail in the answers to the questions. OK, this is where you're getting all of your ideas and expanding. Think about even within one question. Think about how you can speak more specifically about one particular um, idea, right? And again, this is going to require to us to to either read an article somewhere, perhaps, or relate to the video right to get some information from those sources so that we have more to talk about so that we're not just kind of talking off the top of our head that we're actually bringing in evidence i'm not going to require you to uh, cite anything but you know so bring in outside information right that's 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 fine i would rather have greater detail in in your paragraph for this exercise Ben. Yes. Do we have to write our paragraph in the wiki? Yes, just below your uh, your questions and answers. OK, thank you. You're welcome. But we don't have to upload anything like in another section, right? Not right now, okay. not yet. Yeah, so today. We're still just working in our wiki. So again, just follow the the instructions. It will be video, then below the video, the title, below the title, the questions and answers, and then below the questions and answers, your paragraph, all within your wiki. Ben, can you check me my, my question on on what? Yes, uh, Marifer, I'll check it right now. Okay, so Marifer, um, I'm looking at your wiki and you've got your video, that's good, and then you've got your title, that's fine. Now below the <clears throat> the title, uh, let me pull up, I don't know if you're looking at my screen, uh, but let me show you an example of what, what I mean here. So if you look at this example, you'll notice that it has the video, it has the title of your topic and then below the video it has both the question and the answers okay so this is what i would like first all right this was what we worked on yesterday where you guys were thinking very specifically about certain questions that relate to your topic related to social inequality 
So the idea here is to try to develop complete answers to your questions. So there's two parts. Try to expand on the question. Maybe you add some information that's related to your topic in the question itself. All right, but I'd like for you to write out the question and then answer each question in complete sentences with a subject and a predicate. If you notice in this example, there are more than one sentences in some of the answers. Some of the sentences has, uh, they have uh, two, two sentences, right? Maybe even three. So it's better to have a lot of detail and more information than you need so that when you, you develop your paragraph, then you, you rely on the answers. You bring in the information from your answers to the paragraph. We're not going to jump right to the paragraph. We want to first think of individual questions that relate to our topic in order to get really good detailed information. And this information can come from the video. It can come from a website, a newspaper, maybe a journal magazine that talks specifically about your topic. And use that information to answer these questions. And you might even uh, you might even include additional questions, right? If they have different, you know, additional questions that you think is important to answer, you can also add to this list your question and and then your answer. Then once you have your list of questions and answers, then you can begin writing your paragraph based on the answers there. Okay, so does that make sense, uh, Marifer? Yes, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Uh, sorry, Mighty Fred, I just realized my screen wasn't shared, but uh, just to uh, show you again, uh, in Microsoft Teams, and let me know if you can't find it, but this is the example I was talking about earlier. This was, I think, posted yesterday. Okay, so take a look at this, so you can refer to this as kind of an, an example of what we did yesterday, and then today is just to continue basically converting the, the answers to a unified, coherent, and cohesive paragraph. So this is the example that I was referring to a minute ago. Yes. Is there a plural form for civil unrest? Would it be civil civil unrest? <laughs> no, I think I would treat it as a countable, a non-countable noun. So you could say you would need what's called a partitive. You would have to say there are many examples of civil unrest or there are many situations where civil unrest is a problem or something like that. You would have to use a partitive before. It's like saying, um, you know, a lot of money, a lot of time, a lot of civil unrest. If I want to use the verb to be in present, should I use is? Yes, uh -huh. you could say there is civil unrest in the United States, for example. Or civil unrest is a problem in the United States. Is it and correct if I say civil unrest is happening? Civil unrest is happening. <clears throat> Yeah, you could, I mean, grammatically, yes. There's nothing wrong with uh, is saying that. Um, I, you know, I, I'm wondering if you can, 
maybe provide certain examples and I didn't, I, I don't have your wiki in front of me, but um, you might want to follow up with, or maybe include examples. This is where I've heard, you know, you brought up the, the idea of uh, equity and equality, but in, in equity, you could talk about the inequities, those, the small specific instances that relate to civil unrest in, in saying that, and, and then, then you wouldn't be kind of <clears throat> saying it generally. You could talk about some of the specific aspects of civil un unrest, right? Oh, okay, okay. Got it. Right, so yeah, I mean, to answer your question, it's grammatically correct, but yeah, I think try to dig into some of those uh, details as much as possible, and then that might influence some of your questions here about the gr the grammar of it, and you might again kind of talk about some of the specifics. So, all right. All right, guys, I think we'll stop there for today. Again, just to review today's assignment, we want to continue what we did yesterday. We want to add to the questions and answers that we developed in yesterday's activity and convert those answers to one paragraph. Remember that the paragraph, all the information has to come from the answers. So you need to have a lot of good detail in the answers in order to draw on that information into the paragraph. As a reminder, don't include any information in the paragraph that's not in the answers to the questions. Okay, all of the information, all of the details that you mention in your paragraph need to come from one or uh, several of the questions that appear above. Try to keep everything in the wiki, and we'll have we'll start with the video, then the title, then the questions and answers beneath the the video and the title. And then below the questions at the very bottom, we'll have your paragraph. If you want to include also the organizational pattern, that's fine. If you want to state if you're going to use a cause and effect organizational pattern or least important to the most important organizational pattern, you can state that. That's fine. And then write out your paragraph. The paragraph sentences, you can modify however you want in the paragraph, right? They don't have to be copy and paste from your answers, but they need to come from the answers, all right? So again, you might decide to bring together a couple of answers to the questions into one sentence in your paragraph, right? That would be an example of modifying and not just copying and pasting what you have in the answers. Right? You might need to rearrange the order depending on your organizational pattern. Okay, So again, the questions and answers are just to get your information down, is to write it out and, and think about it and, and know exactly what the details are that, going, that are going to address your topic. Now, the paragraph is to make sense out of it all. How do you present it in an organized fashion for someone to understand it? All right, so are there any questions about today's activity? Ben, could you check my paragraph, please? All right. Okay, the paragraphs I'll begin checking tomorrow, uh, Oscar, but um, just make sure I'm looking at your questions. So have you got your video, have you got your title? You've got your questions and answers. Looks like you've got um, complete sentences. <clears throat> so yeah, I think at this point, I just want uh, everybody to get their first draft for the paragraphs. Tomorrow, we'll do another activity where I and you all, all of us, will look at our, our paragraphs. We're going to consolidate all of our paragraphs into one document, but that'll be tomorrow. And I'd like to wait until tomorrow to begin looking at uh, the paragraphs. Okay, so right now, just 
what you have here, Oscar, so far, that's uh, fine. OK, thanks. All right, you're welcome. Anybody else have any questions about today's activity? All right, well, if there are no more questions, then we'll um, we'll go ahead and conclude for today. If anybody wants me to look at something between now and next class, continue sending me messages via chat in Microsoft Teams. And otherwise, I'll see everybody tomorrow at one o'clock. All right, take care, everybody. OK, see you. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye.